name is Mary and I work at the Siena Branch Library and I'm here in our young adult room today to show you how to make these cute baby Yoda keychains. So there's one there. Um, to make these you're going to need paracord in your best baby Yoda colors. So I have a limey green and a tan and you're also going to need a pair of scissors and something to seal the edges. Um, if you look closely at his little ears you can see how they've been sealed there. Um, I did this with a heat gun. Um, some people you seal the edges of paracord with a lighter. Uh, some people just tie off the ends instead of using a heat source. So just use whatever method you feel comfortable using. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, we're going to need three lengths of the paracord. The first is this 10 inch length of the green. Then we're going to need a two and a half to three foot length of both the green and the tan. We're going to start with the long green paracord and you're going to put it around your middle finger like this, making sure the ends line up. Okay. And then you're going to take the right cord and create a loop like this. Okay. And then you're going to take this loop and flip it up. You'll know that it's right when this cord is behind the loop. Okay, next we're going to take this left working cord and we're going to put it underneath the right. Okay, and then we're going to go over the right hand side of the loop, underneath the middle, and then over the left. Okay. So when you pull it together, you should have this knot that looks like a figure eight. Um, don't pull it too tightly because we're going to use this center section still. Okay, so what you're going to do is take this right cord and you're going to wrap it around the knot and around this cord that's behind your, that's around your finger. That makes sense. So it's the right one, kind of back around, around this cord and you're going to Take it through that center space, kind of back towards you. And then you're going to take the left cord and do the same thing, just around that knot, around that cord that was around your finger, and then back down through the center space. Okay, still maintaining this cord that was around your finger. And then from here, this is going to be the little baby Yoda's head. So we're going to gently kind of pull that knot together, um, but not too tightly because we still have to put the string for the ears through the head. Um, it does help if you kind of wiggle it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside and we're going to work on the ears now. For the ears, you're going to take that shorter length of paracord that we have, the 10 inch length, and you're going to cut off about an inch and a half to two inches. And then to make those ears pointed, um, I'm going to trim the edges here. Okay, and this is where I'm going to use my heat gun to kind of heat up the edges here and squish them together just to seal it a little bit. Um, you don't have to, you can leave it just like this. It's completely up to you. Oh, heat gun. to trim just a little bit more to clean it up. All right, so I've got my little ears ready to go. So we're gonna take the little knot that we made back um, and we're gonna loosen it just a little bit, I think. Because we need to get this piece of paracord kind of through the middle. So you're just gonna loosen it 
find a spot where you can kind of slide it right through. Okay, like that. And then you can go ahead and completely tighten it once you've got the ears through. Oops, I made it too. You may have to adjust it. See, I made my loop a little too big. Actually, I think it's not bad. I'll leave it like that. And see, one of my ears, it started fraying a little bit more. So let me trim it some. Okay, so we have the little head done. And now we need to work on the body. And we're going to need the long piece of brown paracord. And you're going to put it underneath that head right there. Just like this, right in the middle. Right? And we're basically just going to tie a knot on here, but this knot needs to be done like this. Take the left cord, take it over these green cords, make it go underneath that right side, so it'll look like this, and then you're going to take the end of it, bring it up and through the loop, and then you'll pull it tight. Um, I'll show you again. And then as you pull it tight, make sure you push it up against that baby Yoda's head. Okay. And then from here, we're going to flip it over and we're going to repeat the same step, um, making that knot. So you take the left side over these two cords underneath the one on the right, and then you'll take the end and pull it up through the loop. Okay. And then you'll just pull it tight. Again, make sure it's pushed up underneath the previous knot we made. Okay, and then you'll flip it over and you're going to make the same knot again. So once you've made a couple of knots, uh, you have to decide if you want a baby Yoda with arms or with no arms. I kind of like the no arm version, but let me show you how to do this. Um, you're just going to take a piece of that brown paracord, like an inch and a half to two inches. Um, longer is fine. You can always trim it down when we're done. And you're just going to make that knot like we were doing before. So left over there, over the green, under the right, up and through. And then as we pull this knot tight, you're going to kind of weave those arms into there. Um, it's not the easiest thing. Might have been better with a longer piece, just so you have more room to hold it out. But we're just going to get it in there and hold this tight. And then as you're pulling it tight, you're going to want to see how the arm right now, if we left it that way, it would just kind of be on the side and not look like two arms. You're going to want to take the right side and kind of weave it into that knot as you're tight tightening it. See right there, that little loop? And then just pull the knot tight and you should be good. Okay. Oh, came out of the loop. Let me fix that. So you can, if you make a mistake like I did and it came out of the loop, you can just loosen it up a little bit. Put it back in that loop. And then re-tighten your knot. Okay. So you can see I have my little arms here. It'll look better once we add a few more knots underneath. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll flip it over and just continue with the knot making to finish off the rest of the baby Yoda body. So over the green, underneath the cord on the right, and then we'll take that cord up and through the loop and continue making this body. Now you get to decide how long you want it. Um, really depends on how long your string is. 
we'll keep going. So left, under the right, and then up and through the loop. Okay, and I'm gonna flip it over and do it again. Left, under the right, and then up and through the loop. I got my arm caught in there. Okay, and remember, you're pulling it tight and pushing it up towards the head. And then you're just gonna make as many knots as you want to make his little body as long as you need, want. Okay, so at this point, um, I've decided his body's long enough and I'm gonna be done. Uh, you can trim off all of these. All right, so I trimmed off the ends here, and now I'm gonna use the heat gun to melt them. Otherwise, they'll keep fraying. Okay, so I melted the bottom here, and that should hold it tight. Um, if you don't wanna use a heat gun or a heat source to melt it, you can always tie it in knots. And that's it, here's our little baby Yoda. So. Pretty simple and easy to make, and you can add it to a key ring, add it to a backpack, um, wherever you want. All right, thank you.